guys, it's Judy here with my life as Geek Eye. On this channel, I create videos on product reviews, makeup tutorials, and lifestyle advice with the aim to entertain, educate, and enrich the lives of others. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you join the Geek Eye family. So today's video is going to be a haul, an unboxing. I have got one, two, three, four, five boxes of stuff here. I have three more packages coming in the mail. Four, actually. I have four more packages coming in the mail, but I cannot wait <laughs> to get them. I'll probably do a whole nother separate video because I think if I had another four boxes other than what I have right here, it's going to be a really long video anyway. So this is going to be my unboxing part one video and then when I get those other four packages, I will do an unboxing part two videos. I don't know, do you guys enjoy watching unboxing videos? I know I personally do. My favorite person to watch unboxing videos is Tati Westbrook. Hey guys, welcome to another... They are like my favorite videos to watch. I don't know why, I think it's just seeing all the new stuff, all the new things that beauty gurus get sent. For me, every single one of these was purchased by myself. So yeah, I spent money on these. This video is not sponsored. None of these things were sent to me. But if any of the brands are watching this video and you see me talk about your stuff, if you want to send me stuff, then feel free to hit me up. Anyway, <laughs> without further ado, I'm just gonna jump right in. There are a fair few things to share here, so I'm just gonna get started. Before we go any further, please give the video a thumbs up if you, if you want to. And subscribe if you haven't already, and let's get into this video. Scissors. Okay, so all of these things I bought during the Black Friday sales, except for the package I have for Morphe. So we're just gonna start with the package I have for Morphe. I actually got this box more than three months ago and I haven't opened it because I wanted to save it for an unboxing video. But you know, in hindsight, I probably should have opened it up and made sure that everything was okay in the box. And if there's something broken now, it's probably too late to send it back. But anyway, in my Morphe haul, I got the Jaclyn Hill brush collection and a continuous setting mist spray. I really love this one and that's it in my Morphe purchase. But this one I have been dying to open. Look how beautiful this box is. Jaclyn Hill brush collection is everything. I have been really wanting to get these brushes as well. You guys have probably seen videos and reviews of these brushes already, but look at this. Oh my gosh, look at this, look at it, look, look, look. Oh, how do you open it? Oh my goodness. I got the whole entire collection because you save more money by buying the whole entire collection. Now I can't close it. <laughs> anyway, so that's the first thing I got. And the setting mist. The next box I got is already open because I wanted to make sure that everything was fine in the box. So this one is from L'Occitane. I absolutely love L'Occitane products. Kathleen Lights was the one who put me onto them when she started talking about the almond oil shower gel. And ever since then, I have been hooked onto L'Occitane. They are super, super pricey, but they are so worth it. All their products are so worth it. Oh my God, I'm so excited about this one. I didn't think that that would come out like that. Okay, so this box was the Magic of Province collection. It's got some deluxe samples in it. Because of the amount that I was spending on other stuff, I was qualified to buy this box for $30 instead of its usual price of $60. So I'm actually really excited to try these. <gasps> it's got another little L'Occitane Immortal reset. I absolutely love this. I'm so excited that I've got that one in here. This one is a relaxing pillow mist. Ooh, I like the sound of that. There is a hand cream in there. That'll be really handy to have in my bag. Get it? So funny. Shower gel. I love having little travel sizes because then I can take them with me when I go away, which is rarely, but when I do, I can take them. Not sure what this one is. I think it, oh, it's an Audi Tolle. <gasps> I love perfume, guys. Oh, and look how cute the little bottle is. This is too bright. And look how cute this little bottle is. Oh my goodness. Oh. And it smells like heaven. Oh, that smells so good. Oh my goodness. I love L'Occitane, guys. Like, love it so much. And I have the 5 Essential Oils Shampoo. And everything from this brand smells so freaking good. It smells so good. So, 
really excited about that one. If only Loxy Tan did like a monthly subscription box, that would be awesome. The next thing is this Immortal Reset, that little bottle that I was so excited about. I got it in the full size, which is a 30 ml, and this one is $90 but it is so good and I reckon really, really worth the splurge. I'm so excited to use this. And the other thing that I'm really excited about that I bought from L'Occitane was this advent calendar. Oh my goodness, look at this, look at this, look at this. Oh my goodness, look at this. At the recording of this video, it is the 5th of December and I think this is one that you open all 24 days, so after I take photos of this, I'm going to have to open five of these, which I'm not mad about. And I will be showing on my Instagram stories every day of when I open each advent day. <gasps> it's so cool. I'm like a kid in a candy store. Give this girl makeup any day and she is happy. I'm going to put that one back. A few moments later. That plastic's not going back on. Anyway. Set that one aside. I'm so happy with everything I got from L'Occitane, guys. So freaking happy. Next box is a drugstore haul. This one I got from Priceline. It was the 50% off sale and I went a little bit crazy with it. Ooh, I got the Models Prefer setting sprays. I don't know why I sounded so excited, like I ordered this stuff. But this one is the Models Prefer Grand Finale setting sprays. I got another L'Oreal Lash Paradise because this one is my favorite. I bought a Models Prefer Brown Brow Brow Serum. Actually, I didn't apply any brow serum on my look today, so I'm gonna try that out now. Oh, it's kind of watery. Can't really see what I'm doing, but hopefully that didn't just ruin my brows. The next thing is this Models Prefer Finale Finishing Powder. Don't remember ordering this, but let's see what that looks like. Ooh, it's a white powder. And it kind of looks like it's blending into nothingness. Hopefully I don't get flashback with this sort of powder. It's a really pretty compact though. Look at that. I didn't order this. Oh, uh, I think it's because I spent so much they just put little samples in my box. Oh, that's so nice. Next up we have a backup or top up of my L'Oreal Infallible Setting Mist. I got one of those because it was half price and this stuff is freaking expensive. So I grabbed one while I could when it was 50% off and I got another backup of my L'Oreal Infallible Matte Foundation because that was my holy grail. I also got another backup of my Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. Ooh, I've been wanting to try cream contour. So I bought a contouring stick by Models Prefer. I also got a dark foundation stick by L'Oreal Paris, but to try and use that as contour. So I got one with a shade a bit dark for me. So hopefully that one works out nicely as contour. Actually, that looks kind of orange, but I'm gonna have to try it on my face. That blends out really, really nicely though. And this one is the Models Prefer Contouring Stick. It's almost the exact same shade as the L'Oreal one. I thought if it was an actual contouring stick, it would have come out a little bit cooler toned, but this one is really, really orange. Mm. I'm gonna have to try that on my face. Maybe I can just use it and apply it really, really lightly. I have the Models Prefer Highlight in the shade Pure Shores and it's really smooth as well. And I got the Models Prefer Bronzer in the shade Paradise. Kind of smells like a manufactured coconut. It's more of a shimmery bronzer, like a bronzer topper. But that'd be really nice all over the body in the summer. I've heard good things about the Maybelline Master Fix Powder, so I wanted to try that one out as well. I hope it's not like my LA Go Pro Powder because that one tried to kill me. It was so fine, it went up my nose and it just almost died. <coughs> I got an Ardell Jewel Lash Applicator because I really suck at applying falsies and I'm hoping that this will help me. Hopefully it helps because I need help. <laughs> Next, I got a L'Oreal Pomade Concealer. Like, I've seen really good reviews of the NARS Creamy Concealer in the pot and just so many other brands coming out with creamy concealers in the pots. And I thought I would try one by L'Oreal because, you know, why not? This one is the 24-hour concealer pomade. I'm wondering if maybe this is like the MAC Painterly Paint Pot where you can use it as primer on the eyes. I'm actually excited to try this as a primer for the eyes. 
I don't know why I bought this. This one is the Models Prefer Antler Half Lashes. Like, I wanted to do a Christmas makeup look. And I saw these lashes on the website and I thought they would be cool to make as part of my look. We'll see. <laughs> This is the one I'm really excited for. This one is the Models Prefer Salt Water Eyeshadow Palette. I saw Cindy Lou Bindi talking about this and so I went straight on the website and bought it because with a 50% off, it was only $10. So I was actually really excited about that. So let's have a little swatch -roo. It's really sleek. This is what it looks like. Okay, so they kind of feel a little bit hard. They're not creamy like a lot of shadows, but Swatches don't really say much of anything these days. You know, you kind of have to really apply them to the eyes. But that's not swatching very nicely. It's kind of patchy. This one's a matte shade in the palette. And yeah, it's not swatching very nicely. Like I said, I'm going to have to try that on the eyes to actually get a proper feel for it. I don't know. I'm not impressed with the swatches. We'll see how I go. I might do an eyeshadow look using this palette. Okay, next. So I have two packages from Mecca because I did two orders. They always have it wrapped up so nicely. And look what I got! These ones are the Stila Magnificent Metal Eyeshadows. And I have a few because I'm actually going to put these in a giveaway. One of these are going in a giveaway. I don't know, this camera angle isn't working, this dress isn't comfortable, I just, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> so I got the Stila Shimmering Heights Shimmering Glow Liquid Eyeshadow Set, and this one is in 3D Dazzle. This one is Enchanted Eyes, and then I got all these samples as well. And last but not least, look what I got! Oh. I have been so excited for this, I've been waiting all year for this to come back. All year. I got the Stila Magnificent Metals Vault. The Liquid Eyeshadow Vault. Guys, I was waiting from last Christmas for this to come back. And now it's back in stock and it's finally mine. Some shades in here I already have. So the ones that I do already have. The others I'm going to be putting in a giveaway. This is just... So Instagram worthy. Cause you're so beautiful in every single way. Yeah, that's everything I got guys. I'm gonna show you a pan through of the mess that I have here going on in my bed right now. This was actually my real reaction and my absolute delight at the things that I've got. I know it went a little bit crazy, but you know, it's a Black Friday sale. So sales with that good of a discount only come around once a year. And I've actually been really good this year and not bought so much makeup. I know I talk about a lot of different makeup on my channel, but a lot of these things I already had when I started my channel. So these things are kind of a reward to me for everything that I've worked so hard for this year. I know it might not seem like much to some people, but those of you who do make videos, especially three videos every single week, you know how much hard work it is. So I kind of feel like I deserve this makeup. I just feel like I do, you know, I can't deny it. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe before you leave if you haven't already. <laughs> I put new videos out every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so be sure to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future uploads. Thank you guys for watching, thank you so much for being here, and thank you so much for your time. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Ugh. I have a skirt on, so let's just keep the level of the camera right there and not go any lower because I've got my legs crossed. And you can see my hoo <laughs> <coughs> oh my goodness. And hello. I don't know why I just smelled that. Oh, I've got so many new things to play with. I think I just had a makeup orgasm.